recognitions, and we are at this time going to honor our Silver Bowl champions and the Climbins High football team. Go ahead, Timothy, take it away. You want to help him? Team, if we could have you join us right in the center here, that would be great. Guys, you want to come on up? So I'd actually, is it on? Mario, do I have some? Thank you so much for coming. And thank you for your patience, coach. It's, thank you so much. So I, I want to, um, to the community that was um, upset with us for going to the minute, um, and I want to, um, actually, I think um, President London was kind of looking at me and all the guys that we were at the top of the steps. So for all the adults that were upset about not having an opportunity to talk, the reason why she actually did that was so that we could give these young people an opportunity to be acknowledged. So yes, that is exactly why. So, so, so out of respect for our young people, out of respect for our young people, and a school district that, that we say we want to put young people first. I, I really want to thank those that had the patience and just again thank you all for your patience and for your hard work. Um, and we have a proclamation. I wanted my, my buddy, my OAL partner here to um, speak, um, Director Dobbins. Now we want to, as, um, thank you. Uh, Vice President Hodge. Coach, it was a fantastic game. I'm a Skyline alum, and uh, it was our first Silver Bowl in five years, and we played a tough game right until, what, third quarter, and then uh, a couple turnovers on our part, but it was really phenomenal. The <laughs> Skyline apologist, unfortunately, but we'll be back next year. But with all due, with all due respect, Coach, it was a phenomenal team. <laughs> I, think, I think McLeod had a couple Raiders. <laughs> And, uh, you know, co uh, your quarterback, Eddie Hurd, is a former student of mine, so I'm a big uh, supporter of Eddie, and, um, you know, I know they did a great job. But, you know, your team looked phenomenal. They played phenomenal. Uh, great sportsmanship. Academics is really solid with your program, McClyman's. So it's such a small school, McClyman's, has such a big heart and a big, uh, they're the champions of Oakland, and we, uh, we acknowledge your championship. So, so in addition to being amazing athletes, um, and if you, any of you all know me, I always ask the question about your scholarship. And so I would love for you to kind of speak to it. I don't know, any of you all seniors? No? Yeah, big senior right there. So um, I wanted, I, I'm going to give him the mic, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about it. But I also kind of want to know from folks, you know, how they're doing academically. And um, maybe even a little bit about how, how being on an athletic team actually supports them academically. <clears throat> um, uh, hello, my name is Harold Halcombe. Good evening to everyone. And, um, and where do you play? What, what position? I play running back. <laughs> yeah, um, being a part of a, a athletic club has really helped me stay on track with my um, academics because I know what I want to do in my life, which is athletics, and that's keep that's that. That's kept me focused over the years, keeping my grades up and on track to graduate and play college ball. So that's what I pretty much have to say about it. Yeah, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, yeah, my name is uh, Trevion Foster, and uh, I play middle linebacker. And uh, athletics helped me. It also helped me stay focused because, you know, without that, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. It helped me stay on track, make sure I had my grades, and it also taught me how to work hard and stay focused. What's your grade point average? 2.6, 2.7, 2.7. Wow. Oh, you got to do better. Good afternoon. My name is Patrick Williams. I play O-line and D-line. Uh, I think academics has a big part on my success playing football because without it, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> oh, I get the mic. Good afternoon. My name is Vance Warren. I play strong safety for my climbing warriors. 
And, you know, academics is, I mean, athletics is just, it motivates me to want to do good in school, so I'm eligible to play. So. Good evening. I'm DJ Ford, and I'm the offensive line, defensive line with Pat. And uh, being part of the sports team, like, it keeps, well, it keeps me, like, it keeps the drive going because I have a goal is to go to college. And then I need grades to go to college, so. And I want to play football, and you got to have grades to play football, so. Good evening. My name is Youssef. Well, I have a GPA of 3.09. Uh, academics help me. I mean, athletics help me to keep my uh, to keep my GPA up, GPA up and uh, uh, stay focused in class and uh, and plus on the field and to succeed in life. Thank you. Well, all I can say is, welcome back. This is our second year of winning the Silver Bowl. <laughs> and mo more importantly, we, most importantly, we, had, we only had 20 guys last year, and we had a 12-0 season. 14 of those guys uh, graduated, which means we only had five returning guys coming back on this team. And uh, this young man here, he, they didn't really, they're kind of shy, they're young, this is new to them, but uh, LeVance Warren is a Hurricane a Katrina victim at that here, and he's only 14 years old. All city first team freshman. <laughs> I mean, all of, these, all of these young men up here have, you know, stories. Uh, behind them and, and trials and tribulations. We won the Silver Bowl this year with uh, 15 underclassmen, uh, grading from you know freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. We only had maybe six guys, six seniors that were graduating. Of last, of last year, of the 11 guys that graduated, 11 went to D1 colleges, 11. These guys understand what it takes to succeed in life as far as this point in their life, as far as getting, a, getting from here to college. They go to study hall every day, every day. It's mandatory, it's a part of the regimen. We go to study hall, then we practice. And then if we have time, if, well, if, if we have time, we study some more. You know, we make sure that we get it done. So um, hats off to these guys. Uh, we were picked to finish fourth in the conference and we won it all, so great job. I just want to. Um, really honor everyone that was involved. It's not just the guys up here, they're guys that are at home. It's not just the coaching staff, it's the alumni and the entire community of West Oakland that supports the McClyman's Warriors. And I just want to talk about one thing, and that was the coaches and the students' commitment to participating in the after school program and upgrading the services that we have for our students after school and them going along with that and being there every single day. And I know they didn't want to be there every single day, but they understand why and how, why it's important and how it's going to help them in the future and making that commitment to not only their team, but the team, which is the school. We're a very small school. We know everyone's name. We all know each other. We all have fun. Good times, bad times, we all go through it together with 236 students. And 236 students strong, we are Mac family. And as a family, we've succeeded. And I just want to really appreciate them and the coaching staff because Mac family. You know I got to grab the spotlight. Um, you young men, there's a band standing right behind you that played football, who came from some unforeseen circumstances like us. Every day wasn't a good day for him. You know, he had to look for dinner sometimes. He had to figure out where he was going to sleep sometimes. 
but he played center. He played center for the 49ers. And I think he played for Wisconsin, and it's cold back there. <laughs> but look what happened to him, and look who he is at this time. And what he can do, you can do. So that's your superintendent. See him back there? Come on up here. Well, he was a 49 and he couldn't help himself. But the thing is, if he can do it and go to UC Berkeley and come out of, of circumstances unforeseen and become a superintendent of Oakland Unified School District, the world is open to you. All you got to do is want it and do it. And if you fail, get up and do it some more because you get it. It's so nice to have Mac in the house. It's so nice to have Mac in the house. And I actually want to acknowledge one of the coaches uh, I'm in the back over there, Brian McGee, who is a Mac alumni who also went to UC Berkeley, who also played with the superintendent as a Cal Bear. So um, thank you for your hard work. And so I just want to recognize the McClymans High School as the 2011-2012 Lewis K. Jones Silver Bowl champions, and the, whereas the Warriors distinguished themselves not only through athletic proudness, but also through sportsmanship and in the process brought honor to their school. And whereas the 2011-12 edition of the McClymans football team proved to be a worthy successor of the school's rich tradition of scholar athletes. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Education and the superintendent of the Oakland Unified School District is, commends the McClymans High School football team for exceptional athletic performance and sportsmanlike conduct and recognizes them as OUSD's 2011 12 Silver Bowl champions. <laughs>